Ooh, wait. <laughs> We're about to hang up. Ah! I am thrilled to be celebrating here with my wife, man. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Hey y'all, I wasn't gonna film this like that because, I don't know, I wasn't. But the people are asking for a vlog, so a vlog you uh, might get. <laughs> it is August 21st, 2022, the day after our wedding. You see it, you see it. You see it, you see it. Well, my wedding ring is a little too big because the day of the engagement. The day of the engagement, he, we went and got the ring resized, so now I have to get the wedding ring resized. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's wild because Malik pointed out the last time we were at LAX together was, what was that, 2021? No, 2020. 2020. 2020. He picked me up um, because I went to Ohio for a wedding, and child, that was a story in and of itself, and we talk about that another day but um that was the day that he finally admitted he had feelings for me currently not just like oh, yeah I thought about it so for us to be back here like to go from that to us being back on our way to our honeymoon destination it's just but that's just the guy we serve he you know pays attention and cares about the details even when we don't be paying attention we are very excited. Um, our flight doesn't board for another at least like 30 minutes, but you know, it's cool. It's cool. We can't we can't wait to get there. It's gonna be a good time.
up in the clouds, being my spouse. We made friends. <laughs> also newlyweds. Also newlyweds, yeah. We're all honeymooning. <laughs> I would totally be down. And we're looking for the market, so. Yeah, we found the Tahiti Pro Market, but I'm like, I can't eat pearls. I want food. I want water, you know? We'll see. We'll see. Found the market. Now I'm trying to find food. It's a super marché. I am not eating pet food, okay? <laughs> ah, dang, I thought you were going to with that. Oh, no, I got to switch it up. It's a remix. I said, I'm driving around the island with my wife. Hey! Hey, it's a brand new life. Hey! Cut the coconut with a knife. Hey! Damn, that's all I got, yo. This angle feels like I'm filming a documentary. Yeah. Especially with all the uh, the trees in the back, too. And the water. Yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting like a real like videographer for the longest to just like capture certain things. Because I definitely want to like have a bunch of footage to compile into like some sort of project when I'm like 40 or 50 or so. We're still driving, but it's actually really cool. Like, because it turns out that where we're staying is kind of like on the back part of the island, which means that we get to see more of the island. So, what am I trying to say? There's a lot of things I want to say, but like, it's this deal that we got was really good. I'm so glad that Malik found this. This. I'm glad it became available. Shout out to God. Yeah, no, for <laughs> real. Shout out to God for it. Like, y'all, this place wasn't even available until like three or four weeks out from the honeymoon. And I just, and I woke up at like 3, 4 a.m. one night. I was like, let me just check Expedia. And it was there. I had never seen it on the list before. So, get up your money about it, and here we are. And at so much of a cheaper rate. Oh. That tractor was like in the middle of the road. Anyway, um, as so much cheaper of a price than one of these resorts that we wanted to stay at. Um, but we're, like I said, like we get to actually see the island. Whereas if you stay on one of the resorts, they're kind of like on the outside of the island. Um, but it looks like we have a ride. Y'all, the black pearl. And here we are. The black wow. pearl of the water bubble. Oh, this is nice. The pictures are accurate. It smells good. It does smell fresh. And there really is AC.
Step out. Oh my gosh. Hearing the water as soon as you step out, that's wild. There's a grill. That's the bedroom. <gasps> a clothing line so we can hang our clothes up. They did say there were two canoes on site, so like those are the paddles. Alright, y'all look at how clean. <laughs> We do have close neighbors, so there will probably not be any sets out here. That's okay. Oh, and steps to go down. 24 hour video surveillance. Oh, well, there's one of the canoes. That's great. Is that the one on this side there? Maybe it's just one canoe. Yeah, it's just one canoe. And the ladder to get into it, to get in and out of the water. And then I get this chair. I'm very excited. We made the right choice, definitely. Definitely. How you feeling? Very blessed. This is crazy. I am thrilled to be celebrating here with my wife, man. Come here. Come here. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So we don't stop for some street food in Bora Bora. Um, I got the chicken burger. Um, I think it may, I think it comes with fries. We're gonna see. And my baby got the poule. Uh, there's something. <laughs> We're gonna see. Hey, bon appetit. <laughs> okay, so shadows are terrible. Sorry in advance, but this is what we got. We got some rice, we got chicken and vegetables, and then this chicken burger. It looks pretty good. It's a little squished, but it's gonna be good anyway. Hello, hello. It is day two of our honeymoon in Bora Bora. We are about to hike up the Fair PT Can Cannon Trail. Um, and we're supposed to see two cannons with two really cool overlooks. So we'll see how this goes. They say it's kind of rough on your calves at first, but then it kind of settles down. Stay tuned. We've come to a fork. We've come to a fork, y'all. What do you think? This will be like the uh, interactive part of the game. Easy or intermediate? Five, four, three, two, one. You've chosen inter, I mean, oh, easy. <laughs> You've chosen easy. <laughs> Oh, well, this turns out to be the intermediate one. It might. It is just my. Imagine what? Imagine hiking all the way up there. Woo! This is intermediate. That is expert. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I read somewhere that you can't actually hike up that because mm. it's too rocky and too, like, straight up and down. That makes sense. So you'd get hurt. But they have other other hikes around here so we made it to a summit right but uh there's no cannon i guess we'll keep going another fork two roads diverged in a green wood and sorry i could not travel both be one traveler long we stood i'd have messed up the whole poem <laughs> Oh, we got Dove Poetry Night. <laughs> wait, 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 run it back, run it back. <laughs> Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry, I could not travel both. But be one traveler, long I stood. And looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. I don't remember the rest of the poem, but that's Robert Frost. Shout out Robert Frost. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to keep on this day, though, right? Right? Because the cannon should be that way. Yeah. I mean, we could go to shade, but uh. Yeah, we might. The cannon is What will it lead to? Bro, we keep finding all these forks, and I think it's intentional. We'll get to that in a second. But then there's an arrow on this tree, so I think we're gonna trust it. Uh, in most shows that I've watched, you sh probably shouldn't follow the arrow on the tree, but I'm gonna do it anyway. 
we're gonna get there. Plus, we just saw some people who look like natives coming from this path, so let's keep going. We shouldn't have trusted the arrow. Now we're going back because, okay, we kept going. We we took the trail with the arrow, right? But it looked like it was going down, and we're supposed to be trying to get to cannons. So, like, if you were trying to fend off an adversary you would want the higher ground so we're gonna go back two forks and then take the left because we went to the right both times so forks here we come i just want a knife at this point all right i'm gonna just say it we just lost <laughs> we all know where we are this path was supposed to be easy but um hold on you see something wrong uh this path isn't so obvious anymore and it was supposed to be really easy it's only supposed to be 1.5 miles slash 20 minutes one way and it's been a cool minute for us <sighs> you see me i'm drenched hey we've been working we got our steps in though we got our steps in. We got a good amount of steps i'll tell you that maybe we just should have kept going the way we we're going and followed there on the tree because the cannons are supposed to overlook the main city, which we can kind of see from here through the trees. And, like, we got to somewhere where we saw, you know, the town. And the other supposed to look overlook the lagoon. But, like, what does that really mean? We don't know. We don't know. We'll let y'all know if we ever find it. I mean, the, the day is still young. It's only, like, 1030. So, we got time. Like, you know, we just, we just out here. But, uh... I'm not a, like, I'm just barely getting into hiking, right? So I need a goal. <laughs> I'm not a hiker who just hikes. Like, give me a view or a cannon or, like, a waterfall or something. But just hiking to just be hiking? Yeah, we gotta, gotta have a point B, you know what I'm saying? Gotta yeah. Um, I, it's not for me. It's not for me, dog. Like, I know I can hike and listen. Listen, because we could be in our water right now. You know, our little overwater bungalow, swimming with the fishies and hanging with the crabs and everything else. You know, have our own little under the sea moment. Babe, we're going to keep trying. Huh? <laughs> yeah. We're going to keep trying. We're going to go back the other way. We're going to go back the other way. We'll see what the results are, y'all. We should put a time limit on it. Okay. I'm, just, I'm thinking, make sure we start the time once we get to, back to that point. Or from here. Oh, you right. You right. What y'all think? I think once we get back to that point, and then we can give it another like ten minutes, cause that first little incline that, like when we got up to the plateau, that felt like ten minutes. So it should only be like another ten minutes, and then if we don't find it, then at least we try. At least we try. I don't know where we're going. We don't know. Change of plans. We're going. We're heading back to the car. <laughs> We're going to call it a quits because I feel last night's dinner making its way downtown. Sliding fast, okay? <laughs> and uh, I'd rather be ready and not have to do that in the jungle, you know what I mean? So. It'd go back down to our car and then we're gonna just take a lap around the whole island and then head back to the bungalow because ah plant we wanna see uh <laughs> we wanna see the whole island by car. So we're just gonna take a cruise and then I don't know what we're gonna do after that. We'll we'll figure it out from there, you know? We just here to have a good time. <laughs> I decided to stop for some food because after all that moving, gotta find some meat, right? They put some sauce on it. What? They put some sauce on it. What kind I, of sauce? I think it might be teriyaki, y'all. If it is teriyaki, I'm about to act up. Can we see? Uh oh. That just might be some teriyaki. Need some mayonnaise. That might be a height. I'm ready. And these fries, you know, these fries. It's like, a, these are different. <clears throat> and I got a Lilo pizza. Now, before you drag me, I'm 
about getting a pizza. I just want y'all to know that sometimes you gotta try food in other places. Like in Italy, their pizzas are not the same. Germany, the pizzas are not the same. So although the kind of pizza might be common in your home place, you still gotta try it other places. And this one is called the Lilo, like I said. It's got pineapple, chicken, olives, and some herbs. I'm ready to jump in. Oh, and it's a cream based sauce. So like not tomato based. Let's see what it does. Crunch to it, I heard it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Five stars? Mm. Four and a half? Four? Come back to me. There's burger. Two solid. That is teriyaki sauce. Okay. And teriyaki. I'm rolling with it. Five stars. Come back to me. <laughs> la la la, dinner time. We come to Bloody Mary's. Our reservation isn't until 6.30, but we're gonna get drinks and just kind of hang out. Um, I guess we're crossing the street onto this pier now. It's gonna be a good night. I plan on uh, getting kind of drunk. If I can be honest. Private on me, nothing. I'm just gonna stand right here. Come take a picture. I just say I don't know how to read the song. That's it. Even though it's in English. <laughs> Get that, get that sun on y'all. All right, one, two, three. Boom. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. We got the vanilla rum punch. And you got the crabby what? Pineapple mojito. Pineapple mojito. Oh, shout out to Oh, wait. Oh, right here. Oh, a strong colada. Do you have an extra plate? I make mushroom soup like eating Oh, that's wrong. I ain't sick of You are already about to spill it? <laughs> oh, wow. I take a sniff before I even took a sip. <laughs> that's where you went wrong. Ah, okay. It's strong? Don't go for it. You want to try? Let me smell it. And after you take it. Oh, that smells, that smells good. It, it's nice. It's a good flavor. They put the food on ice and that's how you choose your food. You order right them in there, take a seat, and that's it. Why do the kebab? Baby back ribs, pork ribs, Caesar salad, poisson cru with coconut meat. You know the poisson cru, yeah? It's like a ceviche. Okay? And the riette of tuna. You know the riette? The cooked tuna. <laughs> I don't know what to say. The English it's cooked. Good. It's cooked. No cooked. raw. It's not raw. No, it's cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Just for appetizer. <laughs> for your main course, you can have the chicken breast on the teriyaki. Why tuna albaco? A little bit spicy. Oh. Wahoo. You know the wahoo. Okay? Blue marlin. That's a swallow fish. Same filet. Uh, Perrot fish. Lagoon fish, the same filet, lagoon fish breaded with coconut. Oh. Main course, that's a whole rack for the pork ribs. The broad bill swore fish. This one swore fish, that's a deep, deep one. Huh? You can find only here, we call it mega. Moon fish, the opa. Filet of mahi mahi. Red tuna ahi. Ribeye from New Zealand and a T-bone also from New Zealand and the speciality of the chef tonight that filet of mahi mahi inside the same filet inside with range, dressing, vegetable 
call it side grill on a barbecue. About your side. The beef, the pork ribs, and the chicken, they come with potatoes and mixed vegetables. All the fish come with white rice and mixed vegetables. Oh, thank you. Oh, it smells delicious. Now dig it. Morning mimosas. Let's see if I can actually open the champagne right this time. <laughs> and then some I won't shake it. Like we did the engagement party. Uh, Moment true. Nice. Oh, damn. <laughs> Cheers to us. Cheers to Bora Bora. Cheers to an eternal life of fruitfulness, abundance, generosity, philanthropy, traveling, and just letting God use us as he intends to. It's gonna be a wonderful life. It already has been. It gets better from here. Straight up. Cheers, baby. Yeah. Let's see the fishies. Those ones are black and white stripes. And there was a bigger, like, gray and black one somewhere over here. Oh, look at that big one. Wait, can you see it? It's a fish. Oh, there you go. It's blending in with the rocks now. Oh, well. Oh, look, look. We're gonna get in here eventually. I don't know if my phone is coming, but. Oh, yeah. Swimming with fish is cool, but also kind of gross. Have you ever seen, swam with fish before? I, I have. Nice. Um, 2011 Bahamas, oh. summer Bahamas. Uh, it wasn't too many, but it was. Yeah, it was an interesting experience for sure. Cause like, for some reason, I felt like their fins would like slice my skin if I had, if I got too close. Sir? I really don't know. I, I'm telling you, this was 15 year old me. Like, <laughs> but it was still pretty cool. Like, I was swimming with the fishies, uh, you know. But spiders, however, mm -hmm. that ain't happening. But supposedly. Supposedly, there are no poisonous spiders or snakes on this island. I don't know how true that is, um, and I don't know what that means, like for like plants and stuff too. Like, is this just a poison-free island? I don't know. I don't know. First sip of the coconut. Here we go. Nothing came out. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> Hairs on the neck. Oh, that's awesome. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, what does it taste like? Um, not too sweet. You know, it's definitely coconut water. I mean, that's all I got. I don't have any description to review, but <laughs> it's cool. It's coconut water. That was the most. Here we are, I'm driving in the rain, cause I want that burger from the other day. Hey, 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 hey. The rain's actually not that bad, but it has gotten quite chilly in the uh, bungalow. But we, today has been interesting. We didn't get to do the things that we wanted to do. We wanted it to be a water day, but this little storm. Cause I'm a weenie, I will take full credit, it's me. And it's even a little bit cold. I'd be like, ah, no water. 
Not for me. I watch. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to pray the storm blows over overnight. And that tomorrow will be a new day, a new clearer day. It ain't even got to be fully clear, bro. I just need, like, you know. Some I just need the warm. sunshine on me. Huh? Yeah, some sort of warmth, yeah. Yeah, I just want, like, the sun out so it can warm up the water a bit, you know. And then, like, also warm up my body. Um, and no wind. Like, can we get a lack of yeah, wind, please? Because that really just killed it. Because it was on and off windy today. Um, so, yeah, after that, I'm going to eat a tail. Like, I'm really, it's 620 here, but I don't want to deviate too much from home time because, I mean, I got to be back in just a couple days, and I got to be back on my schedule. I like my schedule very much, so, yeah. I feel like there's someone wants to, oh, I never finished telling y'all about the cannons, though. So, for those who don't know, and this is just from the bits and pieces that I'm picking up, but back in World War II, because the U.S. was uh, allies with France, they used this island as like a supplies retrieval base. And so, um, they have brought some cannons and stuff over here too, just in case to fend off any uh, not allied nations. And uh, thankfully nothing ever happened here. But like Americans are, from generation to generation, they left the stuff. So, that's the story of the cannons. And now it's a tourist attraction. They do a lot of different... Oh, it's getting a little... Okay. Well, I'm gonna cut this here. But, yeah, they do a lot of little tourist, uh, touristy things like Jeep safaris and stuff like that and show you all about it. Okay, bye!